As a disclaimer, this tutorial will not be showing you how to make the texture from scratch, but rather starting from a source material. If you've already drawn your own graffiti texture though, then you can act as if that is the source material. For my source, I just chose this texture off of textures.com and brought it into Photoshop. With this, I'm going to select the quick selection tool to outline my graffiti. It's not necessary to get the outline exactly perfect, but the closer you are, the better the result will be. With this selection, we'll go into the channels tab and create a new alpha channel. This alpha channel will control the transparency of our decal and is where we'll be able to get those worn in details. Alpha channels are monochromatic, so we'll only be working with shades of gray here. The darker the shade, the less transparent it will be, so white is fully visible and black is not visible at all. To start, I generally like to paint the selection with an RGB of around 200 for all three. From here, I'll add darker details with various grunge brushes, which can be found online for free, to add some splatter type details and worn edges where the paint would have chipped away. And with that, I'm finished with the decal itself. Now we'll just simply save it as a TGA 32-bit. To get it in the editor, we'll be using VMT Editor, which can be found in the description and is a fantastically versatile tool for source texture creation and was created by Yanzel. Placing our file into the materials folder we want it in, we'll go ahead and drag the file onto vtfcommand.exe, which will convert it into a VTF format. Opening that VTF, we can create our VMT. All we need to do here is turn on translucent and decal in the transparency section, and then vertex alpha and vertex color in the flags. Save this VMT and you're all set.